It's Y'all Gaming, the only show on the internet that asks, Are Y'all Gaming? My name is Coney, and we are here talking about some games for gamers today on the stream. We're going to be talking about our top five games of 2022, along with our most anticipated 2023 releases. We are Coney and TK. TK, how are you doing today, my friend? Great. We are we are back in the mix. Woo! Uh, we're talking about some games. You know I like talking about some games. You know we love some games, uh, bro. We're going to see exactly uh, what uh, everyone thinks of the games that we are about to put in our top five, because uh, I play a lot of games this year. I had to actually go back and look, and yeah, there's quite a bit of games on here, so... There's a bunch. I, I will say, I already released my, sort of, all my games of the year, uh, so I, I don't know if it's going to be a surprise to anybody that follows my stuff. Uh, probably not. But, you know, maybe I can be swayed, you know? Maybe we could talk some sense into each other. We'll see. But we're going to talk about that and our most anticipated games of next year. But first things first, we were at the uh, Scuffed World Tour this past weekend. It was pretty fun. Yeah, it was actually, you know, for what it's worth, I think every time we get into a Scuffed World Tour, like, anytime we're doing Love Week stuff, I'm starting to understand that, like, the event will have a lot of money, but it's definitely a super homey event. So Always, yeah. You know, it's definitely nice to, like, have that going. Yeah. Um, every time we like decide to go there. I don't know. It's just it's just a fun time. So uh we'll continue to go to more Ludwig events, uh, as long as he continues to hire us. Uh Fargo's the GOAT and uh MK we saw the MK Leo Mars that come out and did some stuff. I actually went back to go watch it and it was indeed beautiful. Um what the what it won. When when it lost it wasn't as beautiful. So, right. But you know. I mean it was gorgeous. Um the it was weird though because I like I was talking with um I was talking with Tweak about it, and it felt like Leo just didn't have the fire that he normally has. And I saw some, uh, <laughs> I saw some speculation as to why. Right? I saw some weird, uh, some people saying some stuff which may or may not be true. Um, but yeah, he just didn't feel the same, which was kind of weird. I, I hope he bounces back. And I saw some people saying that he was going to be playing some, uh, some Joker soon. But we'll see. I don't know. He always says that. Yeah, we well, we always it's after every every event the Joker, yep, and then we don't see the Joker, so nope. we'll see. I don't know, New Year, New Leo, or something. I don't know. We'll we'll see. We saw Marth before Joker. That's crazy. I can't believe that. Yep. So uh, yeah, here we are. We're gonna talk about our top five games of the year. You want to start, or you want me to start? Cause I got my number five right here. Oh, uh, you can go. My number five game of the year. I don't even know if you've heard of it. This joint, mad obscure. Okay. It's called Tinykin. Did you play Tinykin? Isn't that that, isn't that, 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 uh, that, that Pikmin joint? Pikmin ass game. Hell yeah. I loved that game. <laughs> that game was cool as hell. It's like a little baby platformer. It's very easy. It's very simple. But like it's so it's so relaxing. You just walk around and and throw things at other things. I love that. That that thing was beautiful. I love Tiny Kim. That's my number five game of the year. Although it was made for me. It does feel like a game that was specifically designed for me. Okay. Okay. Um, well, uh, looking at my games list of games that I have played this year, uh, that have come out this year, I would probably have to give number five to Sifu. Uh, ah, okay. It's sure. A good game. It's a good game. It's very fun. Uh, short, you know, but you know, we got the job done. We got over here, got to, got to beat some, beat some ass in a very skillful way, and uh, and uh, yeah, very much enjoyed doing that, and would do it again. Okay, that's funny. Sifu was my number six. It was just outside the top five. It was close. Okay. It was close, okay. but it wasn't quite there. Yeah, oh, yeah. I just felt like it was too short. I think they did have um. I think they did have DLC or something. Somebody in my chat said that they added stuff, but I had no idea. So <laughs> I felt like I, I it was kind of short. Yeah. So it's a little it's a little it's a little hard to go back now. So I just, right. Whenever I feel like I've I've done enough in like a one player game, like it's really hard to just kind of like turn around and be like, let's do it again. It's you know? so, so difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Once it's done, it's done. Uh, second up, my number four game of the year. <laughs> is actually multiverses. Uh, weird as that is, I, I don't even know how to qualify it because when it comes to, like, these games that are live service or whatever, it feels like it's so hard to 
say if it's a game now. It's more of a service, right? Especially because they're still releasing stuff. But yeah, Multiverses was nice, uh, I, especially at the beginning. I think near, I don't know, it had a very weak first impression on people. I think that's why it, people dropped off. But I don't know. I loved that game, uh, at least in the beginning. Okay. Okay. Um, I feel as though this probably actually, I don't even know if I can actually say this. Um, I mean, it was good, but like, I don't know if I would go back. I'm looking at it. It's probably number six, to be honest. No More Heroes 3. Boom. But, but that didn't even come like, out this year. Did it? I no. It was here. I want, I what want the heck? That game, ca- wait, was it? Wait, did it come out this year? Twenty twenty one. Ooh, yeah, okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, somehow, somehow, I must have played it this year because, like, I put three sixty five days. Good, 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 good. All right. Well, then, then, then my number four is 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 probably probably Splatoon three. Boo. Let's give it up, Splatoon. I like some Splatoon now. And unfortunately, uh, when I played at the beginning, it was nothing but the but the sweats that were still around. So that was a uh, okay. That yep. was kind of hard to jump through, but I'm sure if I got back in now, it's all the sweats got have got to their X rank, so I can go play with the scrubs like I like. I don't know. The scrubs now are going to be different from the scrubs when the game first comes comes out, right? Like <laughs> even the scrubs yeah. are going to be nice now, but yeah. Uh, it, okay, I've never played a Splatoon game. Mal loves them. I've never gotten into them. I don't know why. Uh. My number three, again, you know, it's just me. It's a little obscure. You probably haven't heard of it. You know, it's just, I, I play, you know, all kinds of games. It's called Roller Drome. That game goes crazy. Did you ever end up playing it? No, but I watched you play a decent. A decent it goes crazy, uh, dude. Yeah, it looks very fun. So, but I just didn't have the time to, to devote, you know. Your boy's been out here gaming. Bet you put 50 hours in Brawlhalla, though. You can't I spend have way more hours than fifty. I've had this game forever. <laughs> and you can't spend six in Roller Drum? No, no, okay. no. Uh, six I'll never get back, bro. Was it ranked in Roller Drum? No. <laughs> it's single player. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's fun. Get a hot rank drop on there. It, that that actually would be nice. I, I actually probably would play it more if it was PvP. It was fun. It's it's short. It's the same as Sifu, but it's like Tony Hawk shooter. I loved Roller Drum. Uh and it's my last interesting game um it, 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 the other two are kind of obvious but and also roller champions big ups to roller champions yeah i forgot about that champions. roller champions bro <laughs> how do game keep coming out and then not like what happened is it out what is i don't know is anybody playing it on twitch i wonder let me look Uh-oh. roller champions the worst uh, Wait. Oh, you said the Twitch chart. Never mind. Yeah, I'm just looking for the game. Uh, 76 viewers. Uh, Infinite X Gaming on YouTube. Got it. Okay, so we got three streams with a combined 77 viewers. Okay, let's go. Still there. Just give yeah, it time. It'll right. come back. Um... Yeah, bro. Yeah, for sure. Don't wait. Yeah. Among uh, among yeah. us, among us took a while to pop off. Remember, so you know, mm-hmm. let's give it a little bit of time. No, I don't think Among Us was every down ever down there, but well. maybe it was. I don't know. You might be right. All right. Uh, my number three game. Okay. We are on three, right? We're on three. Yeah, it's probably gonna be it's probably gonna be multiverse. So it was fun. Damn, was he fun. moved it up. It, it, I have to give it up, bro. It was very fun. I think the what, what happened with Multiverse is first they started giving me a bunch of characters that like I don't give a shit about, and that's not fun. Sure. Um, like, what do you, you know, like what? What, what I, I don't care about. I don't care about the the gremlins. The gremlins like, makes I, no sense. I don't understand that. That's like so the, weird. I feel like the, that's one of those characters you have to release alongside another character. Yeah. Like. It's got to be like, yeah, man, Robin and, and one of the gremlins or something, you know, because I just, I mean, I hopped in. I, I did the I did the training mode to see if I liked them at all, and then I stepped right back out. Yeah, I, I, I was excited for Marvin. Like, Marvin was a character I wanted to play, and I was really excited for it, but so much time passed that I just fell out. I was like, I don't know, I'm done. And now it sucks because, like, I don't know. 
Eon in the chat says there's too much going on in MVS doubles now. Yeah, there's so many projectiles, right? Like, I don't know what it's like to play, but it looks messy. Um, but I don't know. Maybe some people like it. I'm I'm kind of sad Multiverse just didn't have the blow up that I feel like it should have. Like it did at the beginning, right? But come on, it's not the same. Yeah, I just it's hard to I don't know it's hard to recapture those people. Um, but we'll see. I mean, like as long as they keep working and hiring more people to you know make the game. I think the biggest thing they have right now is causing the issue is the multiverse is just hard to it's hard to land. Sure. Uh, and like you want to be able to show off your you know your best players that in, in multiple uh, aspects. And honestly, one of the better things to do is to have them all in person. But it's just hard to land because. Fucking, it doesn't work. The the setup just takes forever. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like I as a commentator, like watching the other commentators fill for like thirty minutes between. Dude. Seven, like, yeah. Man. Yeah. It, it feels like I I would watch that and I was so sad because I would just sit around and I would just I know they're vamping I know their ass is tired, and yet here we are just I have to watch them just flounder. It's the boys vamping. Yeah, we're vamping for like forty five minutes while they put in controls. Like, come on. I don't know. It's a mess. Um, yeah, my number two of the year, and th th I'm just going to say number two and number one because everybody's going to guess them. They're so obvious. It's everybody else's number two and number one. God of War, Ragnarok, and Elden Ring. There we go. Number two, number one, the two AAA games that came out this year. I think Elden Ring is better, even though I did have problems with it. I think they're both phenomenal games. There. I just lay it all out on the table. But I don't think you played either of them. I did it. So my top two games of the year. You about to say Horizon. Watch this, yo. You about to say Horizon. He about That's to say Horizon. One. That's crazy. That's number one. Man. But number two, what do you think number two is? Uh, Xenoblade, right? No. Monster Hunter? Did that come out this no, year? No, Monster Hunter came out, nah, that came out like three years ago. All right, Sunbreak, I, don't know. I guess, would have been, if we were counting DLC, it is like a whole other game, to be completely honest. But okay. No, no. All right, what's number My two? number two game, Kirby. No way! What? Flat. That what game is boring. About? Oh, but you, huh? you like Crystal? You like Crystal uh, or Epic Yarn, didn't you? No, we neither of us like that. We lived together nah, and we nah, played nah, Epic nah, Yarn. Nah. We but hated you it, it, though. You probably played it for No, like, heavens, no! I'm not a Kirby guy. I play. I play. I did. I did play Forbidden Land all the way through, and I beat it. And I didn't. Didn't think I did the post game because I was like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's Kirby. I can't get that excited for Kirby. You know what I mean? The post game apparently is supposed to be uh supposed to be kind of hard. That's I, what I heard. I got about halfway through it, but uh, yeah, no, nah, that game slaps. I no. guess I just feel like also, I can the, never. Yeah, the, look, y'all shouldn't buy his merch. Now I think about it, the Mr. Cracko, but you hate Kirby. Oh, I just love <laughs> Cracko. No, I will say Kirby character design best in any game. The character design is um, bro Waddle D, uh, the Poppy bro. Uh, the dude with the hammer, Chef Kawasaki, literally. Kirby, character design, best in any game. Games suck, though, unfortunately. <laughs> That's the issue. That I think Kirby true. was my number 11 of the year, right outside the top 10, something like that. So, it no, wasn't tripping, bad. Bro. Something I like that. It wasn't bad. You're, you're, absolutely, you're absolutely insane, man. You, are, you must have been playing. You must have been. You know, I don't think you did any. Did you do the upgrades? What did you even do? I bet you were still playing with level one stuff, bro. It gets. No, I played with level three. I just don't. I don't know. It's not that exciting. I just walk around. I go slow. It's, um, I don't know. It's a mess. Uh, I'm not a big, uh, I'm not a big fan. It's just kind of, it's, it's kind of boring. Mario, though. Oh, yeah. If it was Mario, it would be different. Mario would crazy. Mario Forgotten Land, you would have been. Yes! Kirby's way better. He or Mario's way better. He's way more exciting. He be jumping and shit. Like no, Mario's got no better. abilities, bro. Except for he got hats. Four. What are you yeah, talking about? He puts his hat on got, people, and then that's nah, your ability. He got more abilities than Kirby, though. I think he has more. Nah, Kirby definitely got more. But you know, it's fine though. It, we're, I knew, I knew, I knew you wasn't. See, I knew you wasn't real, and that's fine, bro. Like just okay. My man, my man, really sleep on Kirby. Bro, right. I, I've been playing uh, Forbidden West, and I literally am just skipping every cutscene. I don't know what it is. I've just stopped caring about story and games. And like, I, I think there's that, a lot. There's a lot going on in there. So yeah, I there's it. a lot of talking. Yeah, I and and also something about that game has been like, 
I, I feel like I'm a bunch of hours in. I'm, like, level 30. I still feel like I don't know how to fight correctly. Like, I, I'm fight. there's a challenge in the arena to fight the snake. And I feel like I'm not doing it right. I do, like, no damage. I don't know. I'm just not good at the game. There's too many, like, status to, effects. Yeah, I mean, you might have to, you might have to, like, upgrade some weapons there, brother. Whatever. I'll metify you with That game you. is all about dismantling the thing anyway, so the more shit that you knock off and shoot the stuff that you knocked off, it's, like, the better. So that's all, you know, that's... There's a there's an art form to it, and you may maybe your puny brain just doesn't get it. So I'll know. let you metify with me, bro. I'm gonna hire you as a coach for <laughs> metify. Yeah, you yeah, imagine yeah. metify for a one player game. Yeah, please. Uh, yeah, so you're not shooting at the weak points, my guy. <laughs> bro, there's a acid sack right there. Why don't you hit that with a corrosive? <laughs> my biggest problem with Horizon is that there's like. You, only, you get, like, eight weapon slots, but there are ten different status effects. And that makes me mad. Because if I can't have a weapon for every status and I gotta swap them out, I don't like that. I don't yeah, like that. Well, I mean, some of the weapons carry multiple, you know, like... That's but, true. Like, at multiple, the same time, yeah. though, there's also, like, if you do that, you probably end up playing just one type of weapon. Like, you have every bow in the game, but for status. Right, but sure, sure, sure. Then you only play bows. And, like, I want to try to use some of their newer uh, stuff, but it's mm -hmm. kind of hard. Like, uh, the, the, like, the, the shredder, the thing you have to throw like that, and you have to catch oh, it. Oh, you gotta catch it? Yeah, dude, I yeah, had a yeah. challenge like that. That was weird. Yeah, I couldn't do that one, so, you know. That one pissed it's me off for a while. And I also did the melee trial with the two guys. Bro, I was there mm -hmm. for, like, 45 minutes. It was so annoying. That game is not made for melee combat. It's so annoying. Yeah, it's, the, the only cool thing about the melee is that, like, it will lock on from, like, all the way across the a stage. While. So, yeah, if you if you hit the if you hit like a charge attack and that guy's nowhere near you, she's gonna jump to him. Yeah. So, but, but yeah, uh, man, great yeah. game. I don't know. I love Good it. Good game. It's, I'm gonna go get some tattoos eventually. I just I also at the like after like the 40 hour mark, it's just like I think I okay I think I got the gist of the story. I will just start skipping stuff, and sure. I, I I definitely skip any uh cutscene for for side quests because they just be talking they talk so much and then like they'll talk for like 20 minutes and then the wheel will come up and it'll have four other options i'm like absolutely not in yeah, no world get deep in the lore that's the game but i'm not yeah i just no. once i give me once you give me the mission i'm not asking them more questions nope i'm going to the bottom left goodbye did you hit bottom left and then you leave by the way oh my god there was one other thing about that oh yeah uh i will say because I first played it for Horizon Forbidden West a long time ago when it first came out before Elden Ring. And I played it, and it was fine. But then I literally I put it upstairs so I could start playing it, and it was running at 30. And then it said there's an update ready because I never updated it because I never played it. And I hit that update, and it looked beautiful. I don't know what the update did, <laughs> but now it's at, like, 140. It's like 144. It's gorgeous. Something happened to the refresh rate. It was beautiful. So, anyway, Horizon Forbidden West. Good game. Not my top five, but maybe when I beat it, I don't know. We'll see. Elden Ring better. I think I think if you're already skipping story, you ain't going to. My, my ass the, is skipping. The ending can't go that crazy, right? That's true. But who yeah. knows? Uh, but, yeah, man, that's going to be uh, it for that part of, of the show. Uh, we have... Uh, we've talked about our five top five games. What are your top five games? Have you figured that out yet? Well, drop it somewhere. Comment drop it below. In the, drop it in the comment below. But Let us know. I don't know if that that's if you're a YouTube person. If not, tell your best friend who's sitting next to you as you listen to this. And it's like, you know what? Here are my top five games. Yeah, why don't you guys discuss? Uh, but now we're going to discuss our most anticipated games for next year. But before we do, guys, this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. And I'm going to let TK take it away. Go ahead. Hey, you know. You be helping, better, but better. they be helping too, man. So <laughs> that's always my jam. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> wow, what the? Oh, my chest hurting right now. Uh, oh, he needs uh, some whether better or not help. You've been in, uh, in therapy personally. Um, there's a uh, really good stuff that you could do here, uh, if you do get into therapy, and you can do it very quickly with Better Help. Better As the help. world's largest therapy service, Better Help has matched three to a million people with professional licensed and vetted therapists. Available 100% online. Plus, it's affordable. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to mark uh, to match with a therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist anytime. It couldn't be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn uh, more and save 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash YallGaming. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash YallGaming. And uh, I will say, bro, sometimes you do got to be shopping around because your boy shopped around. 
uh, for my therapist. I went to like three of them, and uh, we are we are, we're, we're good now. Yeah, yeah. We talk about this every episode, but it's good to be able to look around for the person that clicks with you. And BetterHelp makes it easy and convenient. So check out BetterHelp.com/slash y'all gaming. No apostrophe y a l l gaming. Okay, gaming with no e by the way, not the meme version. All right, uh, and now we're talking about our most anticipated games for the year. And honestly, dude. There's a lot of AAA games that are coming out next year. Obviously, Resident Evil, Silent Hills, get a remake, whatever. But the game I want to play more than anything else. Have you heard of Pal World? Yes. I want that so bad. Yes. That's all that I care looks about. So funny. Bro. That's actually like, all I care. That's the only thing I can think about next year. Seriously. Is it? Did, it doesn't have a release date yet, though. Nope. I, I don't even know if it's a real game. It could be a, yeah, a publicity stuff. It's feel like it's not a real game, and that's the that's the worst part. Because like I want that game to be real as, it yeah. Just it looks hilarious. I don't care if it's real or not. I'm gonna play. It. Also, I'm I'm excited for Street Fighter Six. As weird as it is, I'll probably just play it for a week and then not, you know. But it looks nice. Uh, no, it is. And the new Star Wars game, that Jedi Survivor, bro. Those games are nice. Well, the one game that came out before. That's nice. But really, that's it for me. I'm not that excited for next year overall. Yeah, it's, it's Power World. It's Hades 2. And it's... Oh, is that next year? For me. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, All right, at maybe least the, at least the At least the early access. So Ah, I got you, got you, got you. Okay. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but And then, yeah, Tekken 8. And then Street Fighter 6 is like, it's there. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to play it for sure. But I'm not sure if I'm, like, super excited right. to play it. I played the, the beta. Uh, and it was cool, and uh, but I, I didn't have my character in there, and then I want to play Marisa, but if I don't click with her, then I'm not going to have a character, and then therefore I probably just won't play. Is Marisa the redhead with the helmet? Yeah, the wrestler. That's my character, bro. Get off. <laughs> yeah, I got to use bro, my Grundy character. Is, She's that, is, that is some Solomon Grundy type stuff. Yeah, That's me, dude. Come on. Yeah, well, first of five. First of five. First okay, five. we first of five. I'll take... I don't even know who else I would play. I, I go DJ actually. DJ's nice. I'm a DJ fan. I was like, if there, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna check out all the newer characters and the returning characters. But I just, you know, I play, I played Ken and was like, okay, this, this is, this is Street Fighter. Yes. Uh, I can't play charge characters. Uh, and then I played Jury and she was fun, but I just, I don't. That doesn't. She doesn't click with me like that. Like I'm not right. like, oh, I'm definitely uh, a Jury player. Oh yeah. Also, Tekken Eight probably isn't coming out next year, but just. If it for some reason does, then yeah, I'm hyped for it. I'm, I'm hyped for just more information on Tekken 8. Let's put it that way. Does Tekken 8 not? I guess it doesn't have a date or anything. Not that we know of. Oh, okay. Well, I I forgot that Pikmin 4 is next year too. I mean, I'm excited for that, but I also it's the Tenno bro. It's probably gonna get it's gonna be delayed again. You know how they do it. It's gonna be a mess. I don't know. <laughs> also, totally forgot. Uh, this is not in my top five, but it, it's still a, a good game. Yeah. Uh, DKO actually is pretty fun, and I think DKO is very they, fun. Yeah. If they like update on a pretty consistent schedule, this sure. game could definitely go places. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see. We'll I, see. I don't know if it'll go anywhere. Not because it's not good, but there's so many games, dude. Like. I don't know how any game stands out now, you know. But I do love DKO. It's mad fun. Yeah. I love that one. Uh, RE4 remake is next year. Yeah, I think it's like March. I don't know. The The Resident Evil remakes are good, but they all feel like you know what you're going to get. I don't know. I feel like I don't get excited for them because I know what it's going to be. So excitement isn't the right word, but, yeah, it looks fun. Yeah. So. But those are our most uh, excited for games of the year, everybody. Oh, I forgot Resident Evil 4 had VR. Ah, yeah. Get the VR headset and hook it up. Oh, God, that sounds awful. Yeah, so those are our most exciting four games of the year. We'll check out how they go next year. I think there's nothing for a while. Dead Space is coming out, but, like, I don't know. It's Dead Space. Do you really want a Dead Space remake? Silent Hill. Yeah. Lies of P. <laughs> the Pinocchio Dark Souls game. Those all seem wonderful, but yeah, I don't think I'll be playing any of those to be honest. But no, I don't. We'll see. I don't think Fire Emblem too, but like I, man, uh, look, I, I feel like I'm supposed to like Fire Emblem because I like tactics, sure, and I like games like that. But for some reason, I just can't get into Fire Emblem. Like, no, I feel that. So I feel the same way. I don't know if it's like a, uh, I don't know if it's an anime thing or what. I, I think it's too dense. Like. Those games feel like there's too much to them. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
It's weird. I'm yeah. not. I'm not a complicated gamer. So. No. Well, we'll see. I don't know. I'm still. I'm, I'm still probably gonna buy it engaged because why not? And then play it for ten hours and be like, this game flop, and never play it again. So. Sure. Um. Y'all. Uh. I hope. I hope you guys. Uh. You know. This might be our last episode for the year. For the year, um, yeah. Potentially. So, you know, I hope you guys had a great year and hanging out with uh, us and y'all gaming and have been gaming a lot uh, as we have because it's just been a good time. Yep. Like a great time to game. Gamers game. Uh, with this bunch, uh, they're not, we're not going to stop gaming. I mean, I've been playing Overwatch a bunch and I don't even like that game, uh, but still gaming on it, you know? Is that ranked? Overwatch can never be, in, that can never be in my top five. No? It's just, oh, it can never. I think. I think I, if I ever checked it into my top five, I'd have to like someone would have to take me to the like the mental asylum because how can you like, put so much time into it but not like it? Didn't you play League? True. <laughs> Thanks right, for watching, y'all game it, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all game it. We'll see you guys in the new year. See you in twenty twenty three. Goodbye.